Hello world, my name is Paul with the Backyard Hibachi. Today I'm going to show you guys how to make black pepper tuna with a wasabi aioli sauce. Let's go. Alright, so the ingredients that you need for today's cook is going to be mayonnaise, black pepper, eel sauce, lemon, wasabi, tuna, and asparagus. Let's begin with the sauce. We're going to make the wasabi aioli sauce. So I have a half cup of mayonnaise measured out. And we're going to do a half teaspoon of eel sauce. I'm using the Kikumen and Unagi eel sauce. I'll leave a uh, link in the description below. Next we'll do SMB uh, wasabi. It's a pre-made wasabi. Very spicy. So you're going to do two uh, teaspoons of this. You can add one teaspoon or three teaspoons, depending on how spicy or not spicy. We'll give that a nice mix. And we'll go ahead and add our lemon. Uh, lemon just to taste, just to thin it down a little bit. That should be good. And we're just going to give that a nice mix. Make sure all the wasabi is broken down, mixed up into, into the mayonnaise. You can use a whisk as well to help break it all down, or a fork. Now we've prepared our aioli. Now let's prepare the tuna. For tuna, I have a ahi tuna. Uh, this is the top loin section of the tuna. So you just take a plate and we're going to pour some black pepper down. And go ahead and lay down the, the tuna. And pour some on top. And get it completely coated with black pepper. That should be good. And next we'll have our asparagus. You only need about four or five sticks of the asparagus. And you want to trim down the, the end section because it tends to be hard. I like to keep my asparagus in a cup with water like this in the fridge. It'll help it uh, stay fresh a lot longer. All right, so we've prepped everything. Let's go ahead and turn on our grill. And then once it gets up to temperature, we'll go ahead and start to cook. All right, we've got our grill up to temperature. We're going to use the smoke point of the oil as a reference. You see the grill is smoking up. That's from the oils. That means we've passed the oil smoke point, which is typically around 400 to 420. So we know this grill is about 450 right now. So we're going to go ahead and turn it down to about medium to medium low. So your burners will be straight up and down like this. And we're going to add some oil onto our grill. And we're going to go ahead and place down our asparagus. And our pepper tuna. The tuna we're going to cook medium rare. Uh, probably even rare, just put a nice sear on it. And for the asparagus, we're going to do butter, garlic, and salt pepper. Let's go ahead and flip this tuna. And with the asparagus, you don't have to flip, you just kind of roll it. And we'll add some salt to it.
A little more butter. We'll add some cracked pepper to it. <laughs> Add some salt to the tuna. And the underside of the tuna as well. And we'll go ahead and plate this. Let's go ahead and cut this tuna. Uh, be careful with the tuna. Should be good. Nice sear. We'll add one nice bit of salt to it. Right, let's go ahead and add the sauce to the plate. Let's do. Big dab here. Medium dab. Slightly smaller dab. Then we're gonna add some sriracha to the middle of it. And we're gonna take a skewer like so. Just run across here. So there you have it guys. Uh, quick, simple uh, pepper tuna with wasabi aioli sauce. Hope you guys enjoy. Until next time, peace.